Chris, do you like gladiator movies? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this seems familiar. Uh, no, no, it's yeah, no, it's not airplane the video game. Which God, I, I, I wish such a thing existed. This is Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Hooray! I think you're the person that I know that liked. Assassin's Creed Origins the most. Oh, like, I, I think I, I'm still playing it and enjoying it. Although Spider Man, of course, obviously put a bit of a dent in my Assassin's Creed playing time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this is Assassin's Creed Odyssey, and this is the dojo. And I am Jeff. I am Chris. And uh, let's just let's jump in here. I've had this thing sit in my house for four days, Chris. Hey, get over here so I can see what's going on with the Sorry. latest Assassin's Creed Th- game. That's on me. My, <laughs> my life is, is wacky things and stuff come on man what do you got a life i'm trying to play video games over here (laughs) Uh, a lot of it was just coming back from that big old fantastic fest and then of course the week it takes to recover from that big old fantastic oh right right yeah i'm still not 100 percent. you might hear me cough a bit i'm gonna try and get off mic when that happens but yeah the we call it the con crud yep yeah, yep. It'll get you. Yep. Oh, uh, by the way, speaking of video games and movies, the new J.J. Abrams produced Overlord. We got to see that. Uh-huh. And for all you fans of video game movies, which have, uh, there's got to be oh. one out there somewhere. Um, Wait, it's, that's not it's, Gerard Butler. It's Castle Wolfenstein. Oh, it's okay. straight up Castle Wolfenstein. All right. Yeah, they even make v- video game in jokes, <laughs> winks and nods. Oh, okay. Uh, Anyway, back to this game. How does how does that guy keep from getting blown over where there's like a stiff breeze? It does right? seem like, like that would be an issue. <laughs> But you know he can make ships go faster. Uh, so. Is is that what happens? They just they all line up at the back and just wave their they head bang at the back of the ship. Pretty much, yeah. Okay, and so, then they they can also get the floors right. So they just is this Roman god of war? What is happening here? Uh, well, no, this is Roman three hundred, man. That's Leonidas. Oh, oh, yes. Got okay. a bunch of a uh, bunch of Persians over so there. Are you, you're not playing as Leonidas. Then. Uh, I don't I don't know. I I have no idea. Uh, this is the first time I've had this loaded up. So all right. So do you think like uh, Assassin's Creed they're gonna sort of like put the sci-fi storyline way in the background. I, I've been waiting for them to do that for like 12 games, yeah. and they never do. So but they did, they did with, the, uh, with the, uh, the last one, with the Origins. Yeah, yeah. It's barely there. All of it has led to Hell, it's like six stand. hours of gameplay right before it even now. comes up. I hope that this is the case here, because nobody cares about the sci-fi <laughs> stuff. To make slaves of us all. That's not entirely true, actually, I but, you know, there's a there's a really good history podcast about, like, what I the Persians were actually, like, about, but... Well, you know, this was their perspective. Yeah. For our sons. Who, I, I'm talking to you. For no, you guys, you guys. Sons. No, no, you all... Okay. <laughs> They're, they're actually really big Doctor. They're big Jody Whittaker fans. Ah. <laughs> um, all right, so we're gonna start with uh, the hot gates, huh? All right, I, I could I could deal with that. So oh. just straight up in the middle of like a, a combat, or is that just uh, maybe? I, or maybe you appear on a cliff nearby and go, well, that's fucked oh, up. No, I I this looks like uh, uh, I bet we're gonna be no. They actually showed some of this where there's gonna be like. Unlike in the last game, there's going to be like these really big... What do you think? You're Captain America throwing a shield at a guy. You're going to need that shield, Leonidas. I just feel like a spear seems like really impractical for close combat use, really. But this guy seems to be doing okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, did your wife tell you to come back on that thing? What they're going to be like, ah, oh, shit. Where did Leonidas put his shield? We got to bring him back on his shield. Fuck. Just, meh. Oh, I'm so mad. Oh, I'm very I hate, angry. I hate Persians. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so. So here you go. All right, you press R1 for light attack. Yeah, suck it, Persians. You got specific people here to kill, it looks like. Yep. You guys, where's your uh, press L1 and X for bull rush ability? Burr. Nice. Yeah, what's up now, bull rush? Uh, so those, we, those are the big tough guys to beat, is with the ones with the crown thing over them. I yeah, think. I assume that this is going to be doing the same thing that. Um, oh, shit. Uh, how do I. Like, is there a dodge button? Yeah, okay, there it is. Dodge and roll. Uh, Can you whip this swing? thing? Whoa, shit! Okay. Uh, well, that's pretty cool. So it looks like they're still using the, the pretty much the same uh, combat uh, from from Origins. From Origins, which is fine. The kind of uh, Dark Soulsy. I kind of uh, like the combat system there. What is he doing there? Is he like calling to Poseidon for like a stun attack or something? I don't know. Uh, you get some, you dumb dumb jerks. With this, with this, these guys really into. Uh, into Poseidon? Was that their god of choice? Feels like they'd be more of an Ares sort of thing. I'm an Ares. Or maybe Mars. I can't remember. Whatever. God of War. <laughs> oh, here we go. Let's see. What is this one? Kick him! Oh, yeah! Yeah, take that, bitch. Yeah, what's up, Persian? Did you know that after the uh, Persians' defeat, uh, that they spent like the next like 30 years basically like 
uh, giving like apology letters. No, like giving like campaign donations to different Greek factions to get them to fight each other instead, uh, because they weren't able to beat them in war. They basically beat them in politics and destabilized the empire entirely. Wow. So yeah. So crazy. That's basically, war. what's happening with the Republican Party? Right now. <laughs> I, I mean, you know, I'm not. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to be political over here on Rage Slate, but. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you got to get tricky. Per Persia, Persia, apparently, uh, big fans of uh, no campaign finance reform laws. Yeah, so. they like they like their loud zoo. Yeah. Uh, oh, Sometimes beating your enemy is not about directly beating your enemy. Uh, okay, so sometimes it's about fucking their girlfriend. <laughs> Oh boy! Yeah. Oh boy! That, that would get him. <laughs> and that was the ultimate defeat. <laughs> was the Persians launched a campaign to just fuck all of the Greeks' girlfriends? Yeah, I, th <laughs> I think that's how Anthony got taken down. <laughs> Found out I, everybody was messing around with his girl Cleopatra. Yeah. He was what, like, okay. What, he was what, dispirited. Am I just doing this a whole bunch of times? Like, are we doing? Oh wait, what's that one over there? What's going on oh, over yeah, there with that? A, there's a star little thing. dot. Yeah. Oh, that's just another big guy. Oh. Or, okay. No, maybe not. It's just yeah, that is one of the things they talked about. Where there's going to be like these battles, where essentially there's a bunch of stuff going on around you, but then you kind of do little, yeah, little things. You got to find, oh, dude, find your way to the big guy to beat. These Spartans are really big fans of throwing stuff. Oh, you know he's Ooh. bad because he's got a mask. Yeah, yeah. Darth Persian. Darth Persia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Darth Persia. Oh, it's Kurush. Uh, okay. Which one is the? Which one? I mean, like, is there a dodge button or is it? Or is there a block button or is it? Oh wait. Okay. Okay. So you can. You've got a small dodge and a big dodge. How about this. Oh. Bird, bird. Oh fuck. Ouch. Oh, you're doing better than he is, though. I mean, just barely. Oh, okay. Break his guard. Okay. Oh uh, well, seems like he was in the middle of attacking there. But all right. Yeah, you get yeah, some. You got this one. Xerxes ain't getting shit. He's gonna. He's gonna put his hands on your shoulders. He, ooh, no, my voice is really deep. I'm Xerxes. Xerxes the one who basically looks like he just came out of uh, the first Stargate movie in 300. Uh, yes. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did you? I mean, what did you? What was? What were your thoughts on 300, Chris? I, I mean, mean, we're right in the middle of, of this thing. You, Might as well. You see it, and the first time when it first came out, and you're like, well, we've never seen anything like this. Yeah. And that's definitely. I mean, full points. Nobody had ever made a movie that looked like that, and it was kind of cool. Yeah. And then we realized, oh, this is the thing you're gonna keep doing. Okay. Yeah. And upon revisiting, you're like, it's still stylish and pretty and all that, but it doesn't have much of a story per se. No. It's all glitz, no real substance to it. And I mean, it's it's one of those like it's like a theme park ride. It's fun, but you wouldn't want to keep riding it over and over again the same day unless you're one of those people. Yeah. I, it reminds me a lot of the Matrix, right? In the way that the visual style was a thing that we'd never really seen very much before like it was a an implementation of something where it was like well okay we know how to do slow motion we know how to do compositing shots and weird vfx shots but like putting it all together in that really stylish way like was very impressive yeah, but yeah of course the matrix had the advantage of a genuinely strong story that's true that's true the matrix is still worth watching behind the mountain. just not great sequels <laughs> have you seen 302 no. Yeah, it's it's okay. Is that three zero two? The I, name of the I, I don't know. It's just, I forget what they called it, but it's like a uh, oh god, what is her name? That uh, that chick who always plays gothy women, uh, Eva Green. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's like sort of a badass, and there's like at, at, uh, oh whoa 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 chew on this motherfucker. Oh, that ends that argument. <laughs> He's like, I like the way he looked around, kind of like, oh shit, did I? I was trying to stab him in the cheek. Uh, he moved, you guys. He moved. <laughs> Whoa. All right. Now, come, someone come on and polish my spear. Yeah, they are Romans. Where is the spear, boy? Polish it. Yeah, Romans are Greeks, right? Romans are not Greeks. No, but they're Greeks. The Spartans. Spartans. Yeah, they're, they're the, the guys. That's Leonidas. Yeah. Yeah, he's like... Oh, oh I don't. Modern day! Oh, I Ten minutes in! Oh, man. Yep. Oh, I got to contact Templar HQ and go into the Animus. Wait, isn't she the it's same chick from the last one? I believe so. Uh, well, now it's going to be ruined. I yeah. I'm going to find out what happened. I've never been so lucky in my life. Oh, snooze a palooza, man. I'm. Okay. 
I do wish, so, wish they would do that one where they go back sure in time, they do all that, and then it turns the out aliens. Yeah. And they're like, what? <laughs> well, that was like what they're, where they were going, right? That's what it used to be, it was you. that it was ancient aliens, right? It was, it was. I think, I don't know. Atlantean, early, oh, what? And I don't want to. Okay, so worth noting, I've made some changes since you were last in here. I made this <laughs> look like a movie. There's no keeping up with the tech industry these days. <laughs> I can crank up the simulation <laughs> to maximum no. sense but we're running this on Windows 98, so. Right, okay. So Normal, wow, time. you are tough. Understood. Yep. Not me. <laughs> I'm playing Spider Man on easy, and I'm like, this is hard. Uh, wait, what does this mean? A more traditional experience, markers are displayed at all times, and quest objectives are yeah, given you automatically. Want. A new approach to play style. User must investigate the world to uncover targets and quests. A new nope, thank you. So basically, you can play the old no way, way where you have to find things guidance. that clear the cloud. Or right. See the one where it just shows you where everything is. Yeah. I actually kind of missed some of the last one because they they still have the thing with the synchronization points, but they don't tell you where they are at all. You have to totally stumble across them. Oh yeah. And it was kind of a pain. You're like. What the fuck? Just tell me when I get near that that's an exploration or a synchronization board. I, I think that the last one really, and I, I'm going to be curious to see if this one does it better. Um, like the last one just choked me with icons where I was like, I don't know what to do. I got that choice paralysis where it was just like, there's just too many fucking things. And I don't feel like I'm ever getting enough missions done. And then you got the dumb microtransaction guy giving you more yeah. missions to get better equipment. And you're not sure whether you're supposed to do that. Are you supposed to grind? Are you supposed to go to the place? And the whole thing kept distracting me from the story to the point where I was like, I don't know. I don't know what... The snake? I gotta find the snake. I gotta find. I gotta kill the. The way I find with these things is. Ah, I, here we I go. Keep going with the main story until it becomes hard, and then I go. You know what? I gotta do a bunch of find a bunch of side shit to do to build up my 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 stuff. Yeah. And then you go back and give another shot. Oh, I'd be uh, do you wanna be the dude or the lady? Always the lady. Always the lady. Yeah, because you're, you're a dude in real life. You're playing video games. Why not live wild? Live yeah. Crazy. Be yeah. the, be the yeah. chick. Show okay. All right. I have a good feeling about this. All right, boss. We're finally good to go. 431 BCE, here we come. The start of Teleponesian War. Right. <laughs> you're really excited about that. Woo! Didn't we just spend like a fucking hundred years in ancient Egypt? What the book says is true, and we do actually find the artifact. The assassins will finally have a chance to I do to feel like again. the whole you base storyline from this toilet? thing of like the mythology of the assassins has been largely just kind of like, you know what, don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> a bunch of shit happened. Well, I didn't, I didn't know that apparently what she's like trying to get the assassins to rise again. I didn't get that far in Origins yeah, where I, it was I, like. I, I'm, I'm still, I'm about 70% of the way through it or something. Yeah. Yeah. Because right. apparently, the, I mean, the assassins have just been getting their asses kicked since Assassin's Creed 1. Like every story they kind of end up getting fucked at the end of like n they never like taken down abstergo at this point abstergo like rules the world of, but they also they like make video games and shit so Which you presume any leader of high tech would that's what they would do sure there's probably secret messages coming oh my through god right now what an ass that ass is rock hard <laughs> it's like could that be the world's largest ass yeah i think it could be oh wait does this does she have uh, an eagle friend as well to be uh, essentially your drone in this game and mark was, a bunch of targets. That was a weird aspect. I mean, it was I, I liked it in terms of gameplay, but it was off-putting. Like, wait, what? So he can just see through. He's the a beastmaster. Yeah. yeah. Oh wait, where did that fish come from? He just pulled a fish. That's I think this hawk is a magician. It's, it's, a, land, it's a land fish. That's the thing that used to okay. be around until <laughs> like so they went extinct. Nothing up my feathers. Nothing behind my beak. Wah, fish. All the other birds are just like, whoa, Frank, where did you get that fish? Yeah, no, they're just like everyone else. They're like, ugh, nerd. <laughs> Fucking magic? Are you serious? Ugh, Jesus. I'm going to get all the chicks with this. Ah, <laughs> uh, land before pants. <laughs> and everybody wore skirts. A wonderful time it was indeed. Yep. Let's go back to that. Skirts are pretty comfy. What? <laughs> They have a word for shit face back in those days? I guess so. It's just you have to assume everybody's got a universal so translator. From the X-Men? The X-Men are here? Wait, boss. Cyclops like the ancient like <laughs> <bra> monster? <laughs> <Jesus>, what? <laughs> wow. Well, hey, equality was big back then, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, you punch him in the face. Oh shit. Okay, oh, so I just combat. We just get kill. All right. Like 
So act tough. All right. Get a little closer, and I will. You Switch target. So deal with the th oh okay. It's awesome. The first thing you get to do is emasculate a bunch of toxic masculinity dudes. I'm in. Fucking wow! Take that, you jerk ass. <laughs> jerk ass. What about shit? shit what shit face? Yeah, shit face. You shit face jerk ass. Hey, get over here, jerky. <laughs> no Nazis in the ice cream. Oh, okay. That seemed a little out of nowhere. You remember the jerky boys? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. the, the the guys coming to our house. Uh, well, I mean, we have no plot to speak of at this point because th this, this is the beginning of the plot. So, yeah. You know. So now we, this is something that happens. This is her thing. She's got a hawk who's a, ma a magician and a bit of a nerd. Yep. And dudes show up at her house and try and beat her up. Yep. They're, they're here for Cyclops. You get your nose broken. Probably die from that back in this time, yeah, right? You could, I guess. All that coke she was doing. This lady's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the nosebleed isn't from the punch in the face. It's just like, man, I was doing some fat rails looking at the ocean. Those fucking Greeks and Romans, they had issues with that shit. Yeah. Yeah, they were just always, oh, wait, they hadn't actually discovered hey, South America, huh? Help yourself. Well, you just leave your food out. Have you seen the amount of bugs? Look, there's just bugs everywhere. Well, it was probably is bugs. It's the food. They're uh -oh. like, oh, this is roast bug, and this is like a, a boiled bug, and this is a, 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 what is that thing where they put it in the plastic pack and the water bug? Oh, sous vide bug. Yeah, sous vide bug. Yeah, yeah. sous vide beetle. That's uh, the best. Oh, Zeus for you. Me and Zeus were tight. So, yeah, this is new, right? This, you, you have like a, God, I wish they quit crawling bugs across my camera. It's a lot of bugs. Oh, I almost forgot. The oh, show Narcos from Netflix? <laughs> no, there was no Netflix at this point. Oh. Yeah, it's hard to imagine a time in which people didn't what? just stare at screens for most of the day. <laughs> but um, this was the time before that. Yeah. No screens of any sort. <sighs> what about paintings? Yeah, I think they had paintings, but they didn't well, move, which is kind of key. So, um, what if you just look between two paintings really quickly? Like, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. I, I think that would have limited entertainment value. Yeah. Plus, you can't put that in your pocket. If I would see, if I went back in time, at least, uh, like, if I went back to this era, I know how to make one of those. Uh, you know, the thing with like the horse. And it's got like a wheel, and then yeah, you yeah. just spin it around. Yeah. I could totally make that, and people would be like, "Wizard!" And then they would kill me, and then I wouldn't have to worry about time travel. Doesn't anymore. seem like a good plan. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know, I might get laid before they kill me. So yeah. I don't know if they say wizard. I mean, they they, they were pretty into. Oh, uh, so I can basically choose to let these guys go or to kill them. The Romans and Greeks were pretty into education and science and shit. So. Yeah, they didn't have animation. Boom. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. If you had introduced it, they would have been like, whoa, how does that work? Now, if you went on to the Dark Ages and did that, yeah, you'd burn at the stake. But back then, they would have. you just would have changed the entire course of human history. That's all. It's fine. I'd be like, all right, guys, listen. There's a thing called Netflix. We're going to invent it, all right? So I'm going to teach you. First, I'm going to teach you how to make... Uh, animation, and then I'm going to teach you about Avatar The Last Airbender, and then, like, we're going to just fuck everything up, man. I don't give a shit. I'm, I'm stuck in the past. Who gives a fuck? Not now, Ubisoft. Ugh. Okay, so this is... Ubisoft trying to sell you stuff there? Yeah. Join well, they're the the Ubisoft trying to get me to go to the club. I don't give a fuck about Dude, the club. I, I was just reading there is going to be something big with the Ubisoft club, though, That's Ugh. like that was like kind of a cool, awesome deal, and I can't remember what it is I don't, now. No matter how awesome they try to make it, I ain't... I ain't, I ain't Having it. Well, they're picking up. They're they're starting to do. Ubi's uh, soft is going to have their own like streaming channel type shit now too. Oh, huzzah! Yeah, I know. Can I can I fix this bow? My bow is broken. I yeah. got a broken bow. Okay, so probably not. I got I got some really. Who is this lady? I've not been paying attention. Um, is there a Fletcher around? Let's see. What Jessica Fletcher? No, no, a Fletcher like good like a, a bow guy, repair guy. A bow dude. Yeah. Uh. Okay, so let's see. What do we got here? We're just running around. See, I, now I do. Um, it it may be weird, but I like this biome a lot more than I like the desert in Origins. Okay, like when I was watching the videos for this, I was like, I like the trees. I like the countryside. I like the you know, fucking just the way that this looks like okay. more than because I felt like again with the with the big wide flat open. Oh shit! Who are you guys? Oh, oh, it's more of these rogues. From the X Men again. No problem. Uh, don't let them touch you. They'll take you where you don't have. Oh shit! Power. What was that? What the hell was that? Somebody's like throwing like lasers, like darts or something. 
Okay, hold on. I gotta kill this dart motherfucker. It's probably what? Let's see. Roman times. It's gotta be uh, um, apocalypse, right? Uh, probably. I mean, yeah. that's. Ha -ha! He's trying to turn you into one of his four horsemen. He's trying to grow his arms all long and make them into like hammers and shit, like a dumbass. Is that a thing? That's what Apocalypse used to do before he was all just like, I'm the best. Yeah, blah, blah. What he did? Uh, yeah, he would like. He, that was his thing. Was they? He he's a really ill defined set of powers. Yeah. And uh, you Didn't know, you have a thing where he kind of just like ate other people's powers or something for a while. Uh, it, it's it, it, probably at some point, maybe who can say, but. Um, uh, yeah, he would he would just transform his body into other stuff. Well, that's uh, not fair. Yeah, yeah. It's basically like Apocalypse was like that kid on the playground who's just like, "Well, my power is that I have all the powers," or like some dumb bullshit like that. I have a ring that gives me forty five superpowers. I just read uh, um, Jeff Lemire's Extraordinary X Men, which is quite good. It's only twenty yeah, issues, off. yeah, and an off. annual, and it's real good. But part of it is they they basically capture Apocalypse from the distant future, and they totally fucking make him into their bitch. It's awesome. That's cool. Like, he's like trying to tempt Forge. Who's this guy? And he's all tied up, and he like Forge is like open his cell. He's like, yes, join me, and all. And then Forge just puts duct tape over his mouth. <laughs> Sh shut up, bro. Shut up. Uh, all right. Duct so let's. Tape. It's good for everything. Let's let's keep going. I'm not entirely sure. This this lady, she got some problem with the locals, some problem with the rogues. They're all, they're after her. Yeah. Her uh, rogues gallery. Cy Cyclops. Yeah. <laughs> Cyclops gallery. Comics and games. What? Uh, comics and. Well, I was thinking more like the Flash, but you know. Oh. Yeah. Boomerang. Captain Boomerang. Uh, Call Mirror Icaros. Monster. Oh, here we go. Uh, here uh, so we go back again. to this. Find your target. Yeah. Yeah. And then you got to hold down the R2. You know, it's because hold down the R2. And R2. then we'll, Yeah, cuz then when you get close, you can it'll identify it and you can lock on. Yeah, I but think I have to get closer. Get, the circle will get smaller. Oh, and smaller, right, 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 right. The closer right. you get to it. And then once you're really on top of it, it'll go yeah, like that. And then there you can go. press X and click it. This time, Marcos. Press it. Go back to it and press X and click it. I I think I did it already, right? Set marker. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Uh, okay, fair enough. Um, yeah, you've really been playing this recently. I, I, <laughs> Don't you? I You're just like, I this you know all the buttons to press and everything. I do, I do. I played this game a lot. I like the Assassin's Creed games. They're fun. I mean, I've never finished a single one of them because they're so fucking long. Yeah. But they're games that I, I spend like at least 60, 70 hours playing. You know, before I finally go, okay, I think I got it. God, how can you do that? How can you spend 60 hours doing anything in your life and then not finish it? Because <laughs> it's not really the story isn't the biggest, most important part of it. It's mm. just so much fun to play for a while until I'm just like, okay, that was fun, but oh. I, I feel like I'm done. All right. Yeah. I'm, that, that will uh, not be the case with Spider-Man, however. I, I keep telling you, you, you can't do that. Why? That's it's Jake Gyllenhaal. I can plant what I want. You can't grow weed here, man. Look, it's fucking... Don't tell me that is not Jake Gyllenhaal. I don't know who that guy is. Maybe Jonah Hill. Hey. They spell Phoebe wrong in the ancient Greece. Or do we spell it wrong? <gasps> I mean, they presumably invented the name, so... Yeah. She would have told me that before they hit me. But that's beside the point. You I, I kind of like Cassandra. Marcus. She's pretty hot. Yeah. Why not? I think I'm in love. What are you wine. testifying? <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. So sorry. What's happening right now? Uh, no, he's just like, I like wine. You like wine. Everybody likes wine. I like to drink wine. <laughs> like, Bartender always lives. Simple, Why'd she spell Cassandra with a K? That's just pretentious. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's Cassandra, but you spelled with a K. And an umlaut. Then do you have the money you owe me? Do I have the money I owe you? Uh, of course, of course. Well, no, not at the moment. Uh. Then get it. So is this like a Roman like convenience store, basically, version of it? I well, oh, he's like an ATM? Yeah, well, I've, not I've, ATM. It's like a convenience store. He's like, what do you want? Do you want some wine? I've got, like, giant red leg of roast. Yeah. I've got various things. I've got some Snickers, some Three Musketeers. So it'd be cool if there was, like, or like the Roman version of, like, Silent Bob and Jay hanging out in the background. <laughs> you get away from my store! <laughs> How stupid can you get? Stop giving him money. He always pays me back. I'm, I'm... After I threaten him. 
Exactly. Everybody so apparently this assassin is going to start not with like destiny, right? But like with some some really dull domestic person, no? chores. She's like going to grind kind of a, for a while. A brigand, yeah. I want my drachma. I'd have my money, Marcos. I'd hate to have to sell out of it. Where's the fucking money? <laughs> Where's the fucking money, Marcos? Another matter I want to discuss with Just shoving his head in the sea. Fine. Yeah, see, that but would be I a lot more effective. Course. She's like, she's being a little too nice about this. Clearly, he's owed her some money for a while. He's also got a lot of stuff. Yeah. So, I'm sorry. Interest. Take some stuff. Maybe she could get, like, a, a handle for her spear that isn't broken. Yeah. Or the bow. Fix the bow. Fix the bow. Yeah. Fletch it up, man. Fletch What's going on? Bitch. No, we're going to get a horse. And this is the world's skinniest horses. That's one thing I did not like about Origins. I was starting off with the camel. I'm like, camel, go faster. <laughs> Which one will it be? Uh, I don't know. Which horse do you want? I don't care. Okay. Doesn't matter. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter. Just what color do you like? Gray, uh, yellow, just, or white? But this particular breed has a few quirks that you might Is he a used have. horse salesman now? <laughs> it was owned by a little old lady who only took it cantering on Sundays. <laughs> this is the one I want. I've sprayed the undercarriage many times. Marcos, everybody benefits, especially you. You've chosen the great Povos. He's never let me down. I will let him go for a deal. Remember, meet me at the 10,000 drachmas. How much is a drachma uh, in, in dollars? I, I don't actually know. I don't, do they still use drachmas? Is that still a thing? I have no idea. I'm pretty sure they don't. By who? Thugs of the Cyclops. Who else? Snatched her right off the main road. Oh, wait, can we just go kill the Cyclops already and be done with it? I mean, fuck's sake. I mean, is she going to fight an actual Cyclops, or is it just some dude who's got an eye patch? I think it's just some dude with an eye patch. Oh, that's disappointing. Well, I wonder, like, in the last one, you know, it was, like, it, it was somewhat unclear whether, like, the the gods were just, like, fucked up hallucinations or, like, the program doing weird shit or whether there was, like, actual gods in the world i don't know if that ever got straightened out i mean from what, um, as much as i played it seemed clear that there was ne never any actual evidence of there being gods they're just a lot of fucked up cultish religions that tried to pretend yeah, like, but like their gods were doing things you'd like but. fight like a gigantic snake at one point like in the, like i don't remember fighting a giant snake dude what are you talking about oh no but Before that was a dream sequence it oh. was a dream sequence well i mean it was i mean gameplay but it was like thought of as sort of metaphor i think was the idea okay so let's go at least that's how i looked at it i'll sneak up on the malakis on the Malakis. Uh, what? Oh. How do I? How do I hit the sneak button? Uh, I think it's usually pressed down on R three. Okay. I think. <laughs> Could be wrong. Suck it. Or I'll tie Suck it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no one's gonna buy me from you. They're all poor. You gotta read the room, dude. Yep. This is not a good market for kidnapping. Of course, you know you do have to remember. Like, oh, is that okay? So I'm like. Oh shit! Uh, crouch to become circle. okay. Circle button for crouch. Oh, that guy already saw your ass. That's that's not all right. Fair. He's kind of gonna come over, and we're gonna do a thing. We're gonna do the assassinate button. Assassinate! Oh, those malakas. malakas. You you really like that word, don't you? <laughs> um, Enough malaki from the malakas. Uh, but you know, like. Uh, you got to remember that this is the stupid ages, though, Chris. So, like, you'd have a huge benefit if you went back there. Like, oh, <laughs> man, you just punched him in the butt. <laughs> yeah, I stunned him with a, with a, a colon a colon punch. A butt punch. Um, it. Is that, like, you know, did they know about lying yet? Have they invented lying yet? Right, that it's totally new. You lie, and everyone's like, how did she said that there was this? She said there was a thing, and then there's, there wasn't a thing. How did she do that? What the fuck? What is that all about? Oh, yeah, you come over into these stupid bushes or like sneaking around. Da, ba, bunch. <laughs> or like, I don't know, what are some other things? Sarcasm? They probably don't know enough about that. Well, we, like, we're still not good at handling that. <laughs> oh, man, I'm so going to bring you the money. And they're like, good, good. I'm glad you'll oh, bring me the great. money. I'm glad you see it my way. <laughs> uh, uh, you assassinated the shit out of that bitch. Yep. Oh, my God. All right, all right. God damn. Look, I just got finished. Killing everybody. Hold on, I gotta oh, loot this. I gotta chest. take some cash. I gotta get this. Get whatever's oh, in here yeah. first. So this is exactly the same gameplay as. I the wonder last one, if they much. have taken out the dumb, the dumbass microtransaction horse shit. Right? 
The one uh, with the little kid running his like his uh his, yeah. yeah I was Where like, you got the loot boxes from the, him. Well, you'd buy the like super expensive boxes, and then you're like, what is this even for? Right. Yeah. yeah. And there was the gem thing. It was like, ooh, really rare material. I'm like 70 percent of the game through. I haven't figured out anything you're supposed to do with that shit. Uh, I mean, sort of. Flashback to actual family. Where does Leonidas fit into this? Like, were we part of his crew? Were we like in the background when he was kicking, when, uh, kicking you, Persians? Her and Dom, Dominic, <laughs> were all like taking down that that like uh that that Mack truck filled with like VCRs yep. back in the day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was before we all went to space. <laughs> What? <laughs> I don't know. I lost that one about halfway through. Uh it's they're they're saying that that series is gonna go to space soon. What what series? Fast and the Furious. Oh, oh really? Oh yeah. yes, great. Well, the Wonderful. next one though isn't even a Fast and the Furious movie. It's Hobbs and Shaw, the spin off about the rock and uh Jason Statham. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Indeed, we get the flashback. Put Dodge. Perry, thrust. Ow. Oh, ow. Oh. Man, they played rough back then. Abuse, child abuse. Yes. Spartans don't give no fucks. Yes, father. A Spartan rises as soon as they have fallen. But see, that guy's not Leonidas. That's Nicol Nicolaus or He's, something. Well, I guess. I mean, who says that they're even related? Well, why are we looking at Leonidas in the beginning of the game? Because he's famous. Uh, just, uh, they're just setting the time. This is when this is. Y'all saw that movie, right? Okay, it's around then. I think if you just showed me this guy with the with the gold and the red loincloth and and, and Nicholas, I would have been like, right. You would have put it together. Yeah. The dudes, I mean, one guy with the brush on his head, and I would have known what we were talking about. I mean, the Roman so. Empire did go on for what, like a thousand, two thousand well, years were... longer than we have. So, but these are Greeks. I think they're Romans. <laughs> but the Spartans, that was during Greece. But I think the Romans had those, too. I don't know. I'm really bad at history. Because weren't the there, was there, the Roman Empire was in Egypt in Assassin's Creed Origins, right? Yeah, but the Roman Empire was all over the goddamn place for thousands well, of years. Yes. So. But, the, but this is pre-Roman Empire. I don't so know. But the Romans and the Greeks were around at the same time, too. <sighs> hmm. Yep. I don't know anything about history. I'm from America. Yeah, I'm bad. I'm bad at it. I, anything. Uh, like once we get to like 1700 or so, yeah, I'm like, okay, now I'm starting to remember some shit that happened. But like I've, before that, I'm very unclear. I don't know. There's a bunch of people who didn't wear shirts a lot, <laughs> and uh, everybody like, wore a dress. They had invented lying or sarcasm. There's pointy sticks. No all Netflix. Over the I don't know. No Netflix. Just get back to me when Netflix happened. We we'll the, start from there. We call that the 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 new no Netflix. Era. Right. The, yeah. It's it's the BS, the before streaming, and then AN after Netflix. Exactly. Is that's what we call the yes. the. <laughs> that seems a much more. So this is like age. so by that logic uh, we're in like fifteen, right? Yeah. We're like fifteen AN. <laughs> I, I have no idea. You worry too much. Do I, was I remembering so long that the sun went down? Well, they do do that in this series. There is day and night. Although I don't like the fact that. Like, all right, so there's in the last game, you're like, oh, shit, this mission's during the night, uh, so I, I'm going to hold down the, the big flat button, the touch button, right? And, and then it will become immediately the beginning of day, or vice versa. Right. But there was no way to just go, well, what if you don't want to wait that long? What if you want to wait? Like, I just need to wait for, like, two hours. Yeah. You know? And then it's like, nope, sorry, you got to go all the way through till the next day. Motherfucker. It's very annoying. Um, Why can't you just hold, hold it like in uh, Elder Scrolls? Like, look, I'm just holding it down for as long as I need it. Or, no or yeah, or they just give you a number. You just yeah. pick. You are hunted. Bounty hunters like Talos are uh, uh, hostile mercenaries who will hunt you down Ooh. as long as you have the bounty. Uh, bounties can usually be paid off, but the Cyclops won't accept payoffs. So you gotta go kill the Cyclops, I yeah, guess. I guess so. Mercenaries. In the mercenary menu, review your position, the rewards for each tier, as well as the status and strength of the mercenaries and bounty hunters. This Talos is higher level. You should avoid him until you level up and become strong enough to fight him. Oh, yeah. Talos is like, he's got like an actual armor and. Yeah, when they get that little like, red dot, that means, uh oh. Okay, so in the meantime, we're gonna go kill the Cyclops? No, that he's probably even tougher. Okay, so... Uh, I would say you want to take on some side missions. Breaking his wares, killing Duras, collect money from the merchant in Semi. Where is that? Uh, oh, right, it's that over little, there. Uh, but, yeah, generally do all the other shit, and if you see th that red thing coming towards you, 
uh, run. Run the fuck out of there. Yeah, get the fuck out of there. How call do I your call, horse. How do I call the horse? Oh, there we go. Thank you. Horse. There you go. I love video game horses. They just fucking come out of nowhere. They're, they're always, like, stalking you. They love you so much in video games. Oh, they're, wait. like, just hiding behind the corner. Maybe they'll need me. Oh, wait. Hold on. Is this just like a... Um, what are you this doing? is like an autopilot, right? Where you hit... Oh, oh, you, yeah, you, you have to get on the road, right? You I did first you have to get on the road, and then you can hit the... I did find the autopilot works like shit in this game, though. It, it often yeah. take you way out there of the go. way. It's just like, eh. Yeah, for me, in Assassin's Creed uh, Origins, it was always a question of, like, I know it's going to take me all over the goddamn place, but on the other hand, I really don't want to drive this horse across the entire fucking map oh, to where I'm going. Oh, my aching thumb. <laughs> yep, yep. Well, you know, you're going to be playing this game for 60 hours. you be lazy. Yeah. Um, Not in a row. Well... You and I play games very differently, Chris. Apparently so, so. Yeah, that, that much seems clear. Uh, I tell you what, why don't we go ahead and wrap it up here, and we will pick it back up tomorrow and kill off the Cyclops or whatever it is. Knock I over just, some more innocent citizens for no reason <laughs> at uh, Hey, all. man, this horse is on autopilot. I'm not driving here. You take it up with the fucking horse, My favorite okay? thing in this game, though, is when you're on a mission and you're supposed to be following someone to something, uh -huh. they just flat out smack the shit out of people to get them out of their way. They'll be like, hi, I'm a priest and I love everyone. Follow me. And they'll be like, whack to children, I pregnant women, whatever. A grave? What, I can put my initials on shit? What does that mean? Uh, presumably, it gives you some extra damage or some oh, shit. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was going to like, I was gonna see if I could get him to fix my bow. Is there no option for that? Uh, no, not yet. Okay, what are we doing? Uh, collect the money from Sammy. Is that, is that you, Sammy? I think that's him. All right, let's see what's... Summer! Hello, Luris. Oh. It's not Sammy. It, Sammy's the Good. town? Oh, uh, yeah, it could be. Oh, that's right. You're collecting money from Marcos. Uh, yeah. It's like, dude, have you never seen it? Look, he invented the, the VIG, right? Or what is it? Is that what that means? Yeah, I was gonna say, have you never seen any mob film? Come on. Oh, wait, they didn't have Netflix. That's right. That's right, yeah. That's why they need to invent Netflix so they can watch Goodfellas so that they understood what happens when you don't pay back the mob, uh, the, the loan shark that you borrowed your money from. Yep. We both know it. Now the question is, what do I break first? You? Your I'm betting she's very gonna cheery. break the merchandise. I won't bow to, to, to a mercenary or to someone foolish enough. This guy is not bright. Yeah, you don't have any, like, swords, and I've got, like, I mean, shitty swords, but I do have them. Yeah, I'm also twice your size. Yeah. him taking you off the street as a kid. But you know what he's doing is crazy. Look, look, I don't need my backstory retold to me. <laughs> uh, I'm not leaving without the worth of fucking money, man. Still. All right. Uh, hey, folks, if you watch this on YouTube, hit the like and subscribe button. If you'd like to see these videos a day earlier, head on over to Rage Slight. We got a website. It's got nothing but videos on it. Uh, all right. Break his shit. Can I? Can let's see. That? Yep. Uh -huh. Aha. Right. No, break more of his shit. <laughs> that was really, really, really easy. Just leave. Thank you. See, now you ended up paying a bunch of extra money. You could have just given me that. Yeah. Would you think I wasn't going to break the shit? I'd be like, well, that'd be rude. Yep. Um, yeah, like, subscribe, uh, Patreon. We have a Patreon, patreon.com forward slash rage site. Kick us some bucks in return. We'll kick you bonus videos that nobody else in the world gets to see. We have so many of them. We have so many of them that right now, um, uh, Amanda and I are alternating between, uh, uh no, no, that's all right. Uh, we're alternating between two games in our sequential, uh, between The Ballad of Gay Tony and Super Seducer 2, or as I like to call it, we're switching back and forth between Gay Tony and Straight Dick. So, um, yeah, if you want to be a part of that, which I know you do, uh, yeah, go patreon.com forward slash rage site. Every Monday, we'll send out an email that has all that stuff. Also, got some Amazon links down below. If you want to buy anything off of Amazon, uh, click on those links. As long as you start there, uh, we get a little piece of whatever it is that you buy, and it does help us out. Chris, where can people find you? Uh, I'm at oneofus.net. That's a little podcast network that I own, and we have tons and tons of stuff. We've actually added so much new 
like regular yeah, coming stuff coming out every week now. We cover YouTube three times as many movies as we used to. God damn. We're actually covering is a giant I amount of VOD I stuff that's coming out now, which is important because in this new day and age of uh, different distribution models, a lot of the movies that you'd like to see are just not coming out to theaters. They're coming out of VOD and then getting dumped on Blu-ray or Netflix or something. Very true. So we are covering that stuff so we can let you let you know ahead of time what's worth your time, what you got to see. We have so many people over there that are so funny, and we would appreciate if you go check us out. And if you really like us, think about becoming a subscriber because lots of bonus content there, too. Yep, yep. All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, take a break here, and we're going to come back tomorrow with more Assassin's Creed uh, Odyssey. Odyssey, right? Odyssey. 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 All right. Bye.